So the myth is, can a surgical laser light a fart on fire? And to go full scale, Rachel, Valerie, and Jesse are recreating an all too accurate operating room scenario. We are going full scale, and that's what's happening behind me. Our patient has had his chest cut out. On top of that is a screen, and on top of the screen is a bunch of meat. Because, you know, operations include a lot of meat in the form of humans. Uh, we are going to pipe our fart in underneath that meat so it aerates up through. We're going to dress all around it with a whole bunch of surgical towels, the most vigorous fuel we were able to test in scale. Hopefully, this whole place will be on fire in a few minutes. So the team scrub up. And master builder Jesse plums in the patient to release gas from the intestinal area, simulating an accidental colon puncture and premature ejection of flatus. Now Buster's just like Adam, full of farts. But unlike Adam, there's no risk of Buster failing to perform when the pressure's on. Yeah, you got one? I think so. Oh, it's a little tiny one. No, nope. nothing. And in addition to the controlled inflow of backflow, the team is adding one further ingredient to the mix. Oxygen. Every operating room is an oxygen-rich environment. So we're going to add oxygen in the mix and see if we get a better result. Buster's mask will be leaking oxygen, realistically enriching the soon-to-be combustible environment. And with the experimental platform matching the mythical setup as accurately as possible, it's go time. All right, this is catastrophic operating room farts. OK, I'm going to lower in the laser. OK, laser starting up in three, two, one. We got fire almost immediately. Great. OK, turn on the gas, count it in. Letting it rip in three, two, one. Something happened. Something happened. That was really cool. <laughs> the thermal camera will reveal if the addition of the oxygen caused an explosion. This is the thermal. Oh! Oh, that was big. That do, was do cool. It again. Do it again. Do it okay. again. All right, right, right. Did you see that? The fire engulfed wow. the entire patient's chest there for a second. I mean, really. If that happened, you'd run for your life. I mean, I would call that explosion. But is it enough to confirm the myth? This one's up for debate. How do we want to call this? Personally, I think it's confirmed. No way. I totally disagree. This is busted. We never got our laser to ignite our fart. We always had to introduce a new heat source. That's a good point. But our setup is totally realistic. I mean, we have the medical grade laser, Adam's synthetic fart, and the oxygen in the air around it. And I totally saw a fire. And we got a kaboom. OK, given that we didn't have to travel outside the confines of an operating room to achieve this, I'm willing to call it plausible. How do you feel? Plausible it is. Plausible. Plausible. All right, let's get this guy to the OR. These kind of stories are tricky, ones where the premise is sensational, but the execution requires this perfect storm of all these disparate elements to come together to create the catastrophe. They are always butt kickers, and this one is no exception. The guys had to go down all sorts of wrong turns to get to the final result, but they did. And my final takeaway from this is that my farts are still potent.